VHACO FR811 rework system is an economical, advanced SMT rework system with a multitude of intelligent features to rework bottom terminated components, including manual and auto modes of operation, integration with a computer to create, modify, and program up to six user programmable rework profiles, an external USB port to store rework profiles on a flash drive, two thermocouple inputs to monitor the board and component temperature, a large easy to read and understand graphic user interface, a multi-directional operation control knob for navigating the system menu, and 51 stainless steel SMD nozzles with baffled vents at the top that allow the hot air stream that comes out of the nozzle to circulate around the component and escape, which allows the component to be heated inside its own tiny SMT oven with uniform heating, and which also helps mitigate reflow of adjacent components, an integrated vacuum pickup system that can be controlled by the handpiece or at the station, a visual reflow indicator that when used with the vacuum pickup system will indicate when the component has been thoroughly reflowed and has been safely lifted from the board. Integration with the bottom heater that is solely dedicated to the FR811 only, thus the ability to control top and bottom heating. And when combined with the Hako handpiece rework fixture, board holder, and vision system, the FR811 becomes a complete SMT rework system. The dedicated Hako bottom heater has two independent switchable zones. Each zone consists of three high-efficiency carbon filament lamps. The only controls for these zones are the two power zone switches on the front panel and the main power switch. The carbon filament lamps provide mid-wave IR output, which is ideal for printed circuit boards and components, and faster than isolated heating with convection heaters. Set the heater on the base plate of the Hako rework fixture and connect it to the FR811 station with the connecting cable. The Hako board holder features a quick load and release function with a spring tension mechanism, and a one-touch x-axis adjustment. The x-axis position can be adjusted by loosening the lock screw on the slide gear support, then push down and slide the board holder rail along the linear guide rail. The precision bearings will slide smoothly along the rail. When the rail is positioned in place, lock it in place by tightening the lock screw. An indexing stop in the top of the channel of the rail can be used to position another exact board into the same position for a repeatable operation. To load a board into the holder, place the edge of the board in the left side rail groove and position it up to the board stop. Now slide the right side rail in a lateral direction to sandwich the board between the rails and lock it in place. The board is now securely in place from both sides. For the fine x-axis adjustments, use the fine adjustment knobs on the far left or right side of the holder. For a repeatable operation with another exact board, relieve the tension of the spring tension mechanism and open it up, remove the board and place another in its place, then release the tension. The new board is now placed in the same position quickly and easily. The rail grooves allow for the boards of varying thickness, shapes, and sizes, and allows the board to self-center itself. The Hako board holder is available separately and can be used as a standalone board holder with other hot air rework systems or integrated with the Hako handpiece rework fixture. The Hako rework fixture has a large metal base plate, handpiece holder assembly, Y axis assembly, and camera mounting bracket. Remove the rubber feet from the four-leg post of the Hako board assembly and mount the post into the indexing holes in the base plate. The board holder assembly and rework fixture is designed to work together as a complete working platform. Use the O-ring to secure the FR811 handpiece into the handpiece holder. Place the O-ring in the ring slot on the handpiece. Loosen the handpiece cradle lever and push the handpiece into the holder until the o-ring is seated in the bottom of the cradle. The handpiece can now be manually rotated in the cradle for theta alignment. 
With the one touch adjustment feature, loosen the lock screw on the slide gear support, push down and slide the handpiece assembly along the linear guide rail to set the Y axis alignment. Use the fine adjustment knobs located at both ends of the assembly for fine Y axis alignment. The handpiece swing arm piece assembly and component tray have 180 degrees of motion. Swing the arm piece and position the handpiece over the component. Attach a nozzle to the handpiece heater pipe and then with the handpiece vacuum pickup control knob, lower the vacuum pickup tube until it extends out of the nozzle. Attach a vacuum pickup cup to the vacuum pickup tube and retract the vacuum pickup tube. Adjust the Y and X axis and theta alignments as necessary and then lock them into place. Adjust the Z axis height using the lock lever at the top of the handpiece fixture tower. The locking stop feature on the tower assembly can be adjusted to prevent the handpiece from striking the board. Use this standoff stop to control how far the handpiece assembly can be lowered. You are now ready to start the remove recipe. The Hako board holder can also be used with an optional smaller Hako handpiece fixture. This smaller model has the same features as the larger Hako rework fixture with the exception of the component tray. To attach the board holder to the fixture, remove the two rubber feet from the leg posts on the left side of the holder and insert the post into the two mounting holes on the fixture. A basic camera system attaches to the Hako FR811 handpiece fixture in a set position. Use a 3mm hex wrench to remove the two screws on the handpiece fixture. Place the camera mounting bracket on the fixture and screw into place. Set the camera in the mounting bracket, lock it in place with the bracket lever, and connect the USB cable to a computer. The camera system will provide an overlay of a transparent image of the component over the grid array on the board so the operator can align the component. Loosen the swing arm piece and move the camera over the component grid array on the board. Now place the component on the grid array with the bottom side up. With the camera software, take a photo of the ball pattern on the bottom side of the component. On the computer screen, the edge of the substrate on the component is visible. Select the software's transparency mode to view the bottom side of the component and the ball grid array of the board. The image of the component is laid over the array pattern on the board. Contrast and intensity can be adjusted as needed, as well as the superimposed view of the component balls and grid array. Use the fine X and Y adjustment knobs to align the component balls to the grid array on the board. With the software tools, draw lines to identify the four edges of the component. These guide marks will provide a reference that can be used to manually align the component package to the transparent image that is overlaid over the array. In the transparency mode, and with the guide marks visible, flux the board and manually place the component on the board, visually aligning it on the computer screen using the same reference guide marks from the edges of the component. Once the component is aligned with the reference guide marks, swing the handpiece back into position and lock it in place. With the lock lever at the top of the handpiece fixture tower, lower the head down over the component to adjust the theta. Be careful not to touch or nudge the component or board as this will knock the alignment off. After the nozzle is aligned over the component, lock the handpiece in place and lower the nozzle down over the component. You are now ready to start the install recipe. The Hako FR811 Complete SMT Rework System. All the components you need to professionally rework bottom terminated components with accuracy and repeatability. Thanks for watching.